Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to finish with the views finally and work with the URLs. Okay, so um, we have to take a quiz, but we need to have the the button that, we, for example, when you select all the um, all your answers, you need to submit the, the those answers, right? So we're creating that view the view that will handle the submit okay so let's call it just like that submit attempt okay take a request and they will get the quiz id okay For now um okay okay user will be user then let's create a new variable called uh, earned. Okay. Let's put zero because it will start with zero, right? So if request that method equals us. So we need to get all the, sorry, we need to get the questions. And we're going to do the same thing that we did here with a new question. So we're getting post get list. We're getting the list of questions, right? And also we're getting the answers that the person choose. So we're getting all the answers and the question, so all the questions and the answers that the person choose. Okay. And after that, let's create a check. Okay, let's create a variable called, no, let's create an object, sorry. Let's call it attempter. Okay. This will be equal attempter that objects that create attempter we pass the user then attempter and we pass the quiz and the score right now will be zero so zero and okay we don't need that okay so now let's do the same thing with the with with the here okay so let's do it for q and a in zip questions for the questions first and then answers Okay, first, which which um which all of these ones we're getting an ID, so we need to uh, get the object for that ID. So first, with the first question, just do question that objects that get, and then we just pass the ID. When you, oops, sorry, and then we pass. Q, sorry, here. Okay, now for answer, we do the same thing. Answer objects get ID A. Just like that. Um. Okay, now we create a new attempt object. So objects create quiz. Let me see. Attempt. Okay, quiz will be quiz. Oops. Quiz will be quiz. Attempter will be attempter. And then the question that the person 
um, I mean, the, the question that he's answering and the answer that he chooses. Okay. So, okay, now we check if the answer that he chooses, if the answer that he chooses here, it's correct because remember here, the answer have the boolean here value if it's correct or not. So if the question, the, if the answer is correct, equals who the earn earn points plus equal question that points because we need to basically he got it right so we need to assign those the points of the questions to the end points so now here on uh, the attempter remember that it's zero here we need to update oops we need to update it's a score or here a score so score plus equal here and points okay so attempter dot save we save it okay we update it and now we save now we return go here For now, let's redirect the user to the index. Okay. Uh, let me save that. We don't have the address right now. It's kind of weird. Is this even running? Um, okay, let's create a new view. Let's call Let's show this attempt. Let's call it attempt detail. Just in case when the user um, request where's ID and the attempt ID. This is just in case the user wants to see basically like the, this will this you can name it like results page. You want to. Okay, here, and then we get the quiz. Okay, here. Oh, we forgot to call quiz here. Oops. Yeah, we forgot to call quiz. So let's put it there. Okay, um. Here we put the quiz. So now attempts will be attempt dot objects filter. Then we pass quiz. Oops, quiz will be quiz and attempter will be. I'll just sorry. Let me check. Um, we are here attempt okay attempter so attempter on the score on the score user the run we're doing like a lookup here so we pass uh user here okay just like that so now contacts and here we pass the quiz And then here we pass the attempts. Oh, sorry, we have a error. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um
time render request we don't have the template yet but we're going to name this one and detail that HTML here we pass the context and the set okay so we got our views ready so now we can create our URLs so let me go to classroom so so this is what happens um for the pages we haven't we need to add a new thing here let's call it page and then here let's call it or pages pages because it will probably mess up our like next urls if we don't if we don't change that so this is very important to do so now let's add a comma here you can just you can create a, a quiz um but like urls but it will, it will be out of the classroom like like URL, so let's just keep doing it here. Um, first, we need to import all the views. So, from quiz that views, um, import. We don't have that many views, so we can just import all of them, but. Do it this way. I just want you to see all the all the views here. So I don't I don't like have a typo. I, I don't have a typo in the when I'm creating this uh, URLs so okay so now let's go here um this will be uh quiz pieces okay let's copy this one okay let's copy we need to change the mo the mo the the views to yeah we need to change the views. Maybe open the views. Okay, let's start with this one because not only takes the well, not for that one, but for the next one probably. So then, uh, new quiz. So here, let's put quiz uh, here. The quiz. Copy that one. Paste it here. New quiz comma copy yeah we passed the curse id here Let's put a comma save it okay um now new question Okay, so new question will take again we need to pass the curse ID here. We need to pass the curse ID. The module ID. Why? Okay. If for some reason there are two of them. Okay, so now we're in a new question. We pass the. And here we put. Quiz ID and then we put slash new question. 
Okay. Perfect. Okay. What else? That's the new question. That's the quiz detail. I just copy this whole thing. Paste it here. This is this will be the quiz ID, so just like that. Um, good. Quiz details are in here. Let's Quiz detail. Okay. Another one. Take a quiz. Take a quiz. And then here, let's put um, eight. All right. And then here we can put take quiz. Let's copy all these parameters that it takes. Let's put it here. Save that. Um, now let's paste it here too. We can just paste it. Paste it here. Okay, we're going to take a quiz. Okay, take take a quiz. Um, now submit attempt. Let's copy this one, paste it here. Let me put another one and just put submit. Let's call this one submit. Voice, right? Let me just put submit attempt. Okay, we got it. Um, check. Okay. I'm just trying to be careful with the, because there's so much stuff here. Okay, last one will be the results page or attempt page. So on that one, uh, let's put this one. The attempt ID. Just remember, it takes the attempt ID here. So let's put like results. Yep. Let's copy. Remember, remember to change your views. <laughs> you don't mess it up. Okay. Attempt. Save that. Russian. Uh, oh. So yeah, in our forms, we put models. Oh, uh, let me check. It's forms, no model form. It's, yeah. It changed the other important. Okay, so it seems that it's not crashing. We can, um, let me just leave it there for now, but in the next video, we're going to create our templates and we can just start working with these ones, with these views that we just created. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.